Welcome back to another video, and this is an interesting one. I think I think I'm really excited to do this kind of video because it's not a typical review where we look at a product and we look at the features and changes and updates and compare it and and present it and make you see what you want and what you don't want. But there's something that's been in our mind and in our agenda for months now that's very interesting. I find it very fascinating. And we were going to wait for like the perfect, perfect shot of, hey, we can talk about this or that. But problem is, is that it's changing so often and changing so fast that I feel like we can talk about it now and cover what we have. And yet six months from now or maybe a year from now, it will be completely different. So might as well just do it and have some fun with it. What do you think? What are we talking about? Artificial intelligence. Oh, great. It's it's something that, you know, everyone's doing it. It's becoming something that's present in everyone's lives. And we've seen the movies. You kind of hope that it doesn't turn out like the movies did. Um, but there's a few things that I realize that this could be something practical, uh, beneficial, not a substitution, but an addition to someone's life that can improve their productivity, their organization, maybe it help with anxiety and stress and just overall mental state that maybe you haven't thought about. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's important, like, before we jump into the content, artificial intelligence is, like, a massive, a very a, broad, very, yeah, that's a yeah. very overarching, broad term, right? But there are certain ways that you can access bits and pieces of AI, like mm -hmm. large language models, right, from your smartphone. And there are certain ways that, like, some people are probably using them on a daily basis now, but there might be certain use cases that maybe you haven't thought of. Mm -hmm. That, like David said, can actually like enhance your day to day life by just getting a little bit more creative about it. So, yeah, yeah, I think spending some time to talk about that is pretty cool. Now, to be fair, we do have three phone reviews in the pipe. Oh, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's not stopping. So, at all. the phone yeah. reviews are coming, but we just wanted to make a little bit of a fun video here and yeah. maybe we'll help improve your life in some way outside of a product review. Let's give it a shot. Let's do it. So, let's dive right in. And, like I just mentioned, AI is like a big, big thing. Yeah. So we're going to focus on like the easiest way for you to access powerful tools on even something like your smartphone. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go with examples like, let's say you're going to be using chat GPT, right? Let's say you're going to be using Google Gemini, mm -hmm. right? Whether you have an iPhone or an Android device, there are apps that you can download on both of those devices for either, right? Right. Chat Absolutely. GPT yeah. or Google Gemini, mm -hmm. right? So with that being said, let's start with the first one, help with grocery shopping this is adulting 101 actually we're not doing ai we're just teaching you how to be an adult yeah 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 so we're giving you a lesson on how to be a grown-up here but yeah no you can actually use language models like chat gpt or google gemini to kind of streamline your grocery shopping process mm -hmm. and as someone who like myself for example i like to spend a lot of time in the gym and because of that i try to always keep an eye on like what i'm eating mm -hmm having something like that to help you with grocery shopping can actually be super helpful. So you can literally open up either and you can just start typing in terms of like, you can get as specific as to which grocery store you're going shopping at. Oh yeah. Walmart, Costco, Sam's Club, Target. You can set a budget. You can set like a dietary goal, maybe mm -hmm. high protein, maybe high carbs, right. maybe keto, maybe paleo, something like that. You can set the amount of people that you're shopping for maybe how much food you want to buy for one week or two right. weeks or something like that based on budget. And you can ask it to give you recommendations on what to buy from the grocery store. Yeah. And it can put everything together from like stuff to buy, maybe for breakfast to snacks, to lunch, to dinner. Mm -hmm. Like it can plan everything out for you, keep you under or at least close to that budget. And you can go into a grocery store with like peace of mind on what to buy. And I think it's, I think it's such a beneficial tool just because as someone that wants to think about everything, having something less to think about it's super helpful just because it allows you to have some room in your brain to just think about something else yeah but it, it is very straightforward like Arian said it's it tells you what to do it tells you not only what to buy but hey day one this is what you're gonna have for breakfast day two this is what you're gonna have for lunch it tells you every single step along the way and of course you don't have to stick to the plan like it tells you but it's a great reference so at least it gets you started to yep. hey I have something to do. I yeah. have something to go with. Yeah, it's a really solid foundation. And in my case, right, like most times, the amount of time it's going to take me to type out like 
a grocery list or something. Right. You could probably just type out a prompt and let it know where you're going, what your budget is, if you're shopping for yourself or other people. Right. And what your nutrition goals are. And then boom, it can spit it out within a couple of seconds. It's oh, and I forgot to mention everything that we're telling you that you can do on this video right. is accessible with like a free plan. Right. Yeah. Right. So whether you're using either of those like AI tools, you don't necessarily have to pay to have access to do stuff like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, while well, saying the topic of things that ChatGPT or Gemini will tell you how to do, travel guide. And it's something that honestly, it that one is a lifesaver because if you are someone that travels like me, you're gonna, you, you realize that you get to the point that it is draining to come up with a plan, especially in a place that you've never been to and just figure out what am I gonna do? How long is that gonna take? How much is that gonna be? But if you're specific with ChatGPT, you can tell it, hey, I'm going to the West Coast. I'm gonna go to this city. I'm gonna go for this amount of days. Take account that I'm driving. Count that for one of those days. This is my budget. This is how, how active I want to be. This is how relaxed I want to be. Making sure that hey, there's three people going. It's only me. You can be as specific and detailed as you want, and it's gonna give you a detailed day to day, hour to hour plan. And it's so cool just because that is something that people used to pay for. And now it's right on your phone. Yeah, I was it just about fun. to say, I'm not the best at traveling. Uh -huh. So something like that actually sounds great because if I were to plan a trip, I wouldn't be too great in terms of like <laughs> knowing where to start. Right, right. But I feel like if you wanted to go through a travel agency, right, mm -hmm. you would have to pay yeah. to, to tell them like, hey, I'm, I'm going to this place for this amount of days. Can you put together an itinerary for me? Right. right. So in this case, you have a tool on your smartphone that can quite literally do it all for you it's mind-blowing and yeah. honestly because there's different kinds of people right so people like to go to the beach people like to go to the city or the mountains um and i, I feel I, like there's different kinds of travelers oh 100 like some travelers like to have every single hour of the day planned out right right and then some travelers are more like go with the flow right yeah so it, it can apply for anything that you want to do even if you just want to get an idea of like hey what are things that i could do at this place I'm visiting, it can just give you a list and that way you can just choose what to do and when to do them instead of it, it telling you specifically what to do. So it is it is something that you should be doing if you're someone that travels for sure. And I think even if you're someone who doesn't travel, myself, right? I don't go too many trips solo or anything like right. that, but that would be a massive help in terms of like actually having stuff put together. Yeah. Yeah, especially yeah. if you're going to places that you've never been before, mm -hmm. right? I think that's the biggest one. Yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so I think the next two use cases are, I mean, they're still creative, but we're gonna get a little personal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So let's start with like more of like lighthearted personal. Right. You can actually use AI tools for journaling. Yeah. So I know that like yeah. journaling has kind of gotten more popular. Like I think Apple, when was it, like a year or so ago? Like literally launched a dedicated journaling with app. With their app. Yeah. 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 But you can actually use, and to be honest with you, I think I would probably go down the route of journaling with an AI tool instead of just an app. Right. Because you can go into an app like ChatGPT or Gemini. You can journal about things that you're going through on a daily basis. Right. And I think over time, the great part about it is you're going to have access to an artificial intelligence tool that can give you analytics, yeah. give you insight into the things that you're journaling. Maybe even if you take it from the perspective of self-improvement, maybe it can even give you guided advice mm -hmm. in terms of like things to focus on for the future or disciplines to try to incorporate to improve in some other personal aspect of mm -hmm. your life right i think it's really cool about journaling is that you can be you can be vague you can keep it simple you can do hey this morning woke up at this time went on a run went to work coming back home i'm doing this for dinner and i don't think i'm doing gym today or i'm watching a movie instead whatever it is just to keep a very basic idea of how your day looks like because the consistency is what makes this important it's not that you do it once every week or once every month it's that you do that daily and it's able to recognize patterns and analytics so you can see hey you know what let's look back six months ago and you can talk to it. You can you can just be like, is there anything that I, that you recognize from my daily journals that I should improve on if I want to make my sleep better or if I want to socialize a lot more? Is there something that's taking a lot of my time in my day? Is there something that I should be getting, getting rid of? Um, and, and if I'm being quite frank with you, journaling is not something that I even thought about doing a year or two ago. But I think it's such an important thing because it visualizes and puts it on paper, paper what you do 
because sometimes there's things that we do on our daily basis that we don't even realize or yep. recognize. Yep. So just having it there is super helpful for anyone out there. Yeah. And I love that you said that because I literally, I was just thinking about that myself too, mm-hmm. in terms of like everyday life nowadays seems so busy. <laughs> Very. And it's so easy to just get caught up in the daily grind of everyday life that like we don't stop to look internally. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? And like focus on ourselves from an emotional and from a mental perspective, right? And journaling consistently, especially with a tool that can analyze the things that you've been talking about and can go far back and right. tell you what you did six months ago, one year ago, without you having to flip through a bunch of pages mm-hmm. and reanalyze. It's so great for you to be able to just do something like that and take a look back and be like, wow, look at how much I actually accomplished over the last six mm-hmm. months, even though the last six months in my mind, have been a blur. Yeah, yeah. It can feel like a blink. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. And I think it even applies to even some smaller practices too. Like if you're going to the gym and you want to kind of keep track of your progress, Mm -hmm. if you're journaling about that over time, maybe six months down the line, you feel like you haven't made a lot of progress from like a fitness or physical perspective, but then you can ask it to reflect over the last six months and it can tell you like, hey, six months ago, this is the weight you were moving. And now six months later, this is the weight you were moving. And you were at this weight earlier and now you weigh this much now with like the changes that you've made and stuff Mm -hmm. like that. And I think it can really help turn inward for your emotions, which I think is really important. And at the same time, help you realize some of the things that you're accomplishing in time frames. Oh, that makes a big difference. Yeah. And now we're going to get a little deeper because while it is great to journal everything, there's things that as humans, and this is something that's just, let's be honest here. Everyone goes through things, whether yeah. they're incredibly hard or just difficult or a hiccup in life whatever it may be there's things that happen that can shape us into different ways and 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 put us in a a path where maybe it's not where we're supposed to be going yeah and the thing about artificial intelligence is that you can use something like this to incredibly change your life in, in in a good way in a positive way one of those ways is to let it be your therapist and I know it sounds weird just because, I mean, think about it this way. If you talk to someone in the older generation, a therapist is only for people that have big issues, mental issues, and it's not something for the regular person. But nowadays, most people recognize and agree that having a therapist is a good thing just because yeah. it helps you with your mental state and health. Yeah. But that's also something that could be expensive, especially if you don't have insurance. That's the big thing. So having it in your phone is such a great replacement just because it does pretty much the same thing or at least close enough that you can see things and improve in specific areas or maybe something that you went through. For yeah. example, you can use it in a way of, hey, um, you can talk to it and just say, hey, I just went through something in my life and I'm about to explain it to you and it's going to be a long story and I'll go from the beginning to the end and at the end I want you to act as my therapist and and look at patterns look at specific trends and things of my personality of how I reacted or how I took it and give me bullet points and summarize it so I can see that visually but also give me things to improve on give me things of hey maybe you should be doing this instead to get rid of that specific thing that happened or focus on this positive thing so you don't focus only on the negative yeah the applications are crazy but it's it's something that we just if we're real everyone can benefit from yeah and i think it's important to mention that like obviously a tool like this is not like a licensed therapist right nor like is it supposed to give you any um like it's not certified to make, give you yeah. any kind of like medical advice. But like David said, it is still a great resource if you wanted to vent about certain things that have happened in your life, um, seek guidance or advice in some way. Right. Right. Especially if you're in a situation where maybe access to therapy is not too viable of an option because of lack of insurance, because of how expensive it can be. And I mean, truth be told, in some cases, it's a little harder to open up to like a person directly in front of you Mm -hmm. than it might be to just type something out on your phone. Like it's essentially the same as like someone who might journal or who might write in a diary, Mm -hmm. right? It's easier to kind of get those thoughts out of your head onto paper or in this case, like a phone, right? right? But you have something that is so vast in knowledge, yeah, like a large language model that might be able to kind of help guide you and give you some sort of advice in terms of improvement. 
um, or at the very least, like be there to listen and to kind of validate your thoughts and your feelings. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was important to know that obviously like it's not going to replace or like right. act as a literal psychologist or like a therapist, but it's still something great that you can kind of immediately jump into your phone and potentially seek out. Yeah. Seek out some help with. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So now that we took the trip down, getting really deep and getting really emotional. Yeah, I have to get some tissues a second. Here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> let's kind of uh, let's kind of take a step back and at least get ready to end the video on a little bit of a lighter note. I agree. Right, and that would be using AI for like entertainment purposes. Yeah. Um, especially from the perspective of like hosting, which I think that's another part of myself that is not really a strong suit not everyone is and, and that's totally okay yeah i think i think having people over at your place and figuring out what to do is crazy yeah yeah so let's say and i mean like we have friends in common mm -hmm. that were like that are really good hosters oh yeah like we'd go to their place and like they were just naturals at it in yeah. terms of like having the food picked out having the game picked out like activities to do throughout the course of the night and stuff drinks and food and stuff like that but if I were to try to do something like that by myself, it would probably be a disaster, right? <laughs> right. So you can use tools like this to just kind of let it know, hey, I'm thinking about hosting a game night at my place. I'm going to have a certain amount of people over. Can you maybe help me with some snacks that I should get, some yeah. food that I should get, maybe some drinks? What kind of games can we play throughout the night? Like how can I keep the folks entertained? Mm -hmm. Maybe we put on a movie. Like right. what type of certain things can we do just to kind of throw – like a really fun night, right? And I think what's really fun about this is that you can you can use it for any kind of group. You can have younger people, older people, a low, a small group, a bigger group, larger group, but even people that you don't know at all. You can have a game of like, hey, let's let's give me a get to know you game. Yeah. Make it entertaining, make it engaging because a, a lot of get to know you games are really awkward. Awkward icebreaker games. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> yeah, but. I, I, to be even more practical, I have a friend of mine that he has a D&D &D night every week or so. And what he does with ChatGPT is that he creates side quests. Oh, see, that's cool. So you can yeah. be very specific, even with people that you've known for years, just because it helps you create an environment and just be creative with the games that you're playing and just go with that. And yeah. it's super cool. Yeah, that's actually pretty. I actually, I didn't even think of something like that. Yeah. 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 So that from that perspective, that would actually be super cool. But if you're more so like in my boat where like the idea of just hosting a party in general yeah. sounds like an absolute disaster, then yeah, you could you could literally plan something right on your phone. But you know, we could keep going. There's so many things that we can do and talk about when it comes to practical things with AI. But let us know what you think. Let us know if there's something that you use AI for that, hey, maybe we didn't think of. Maybe there's something that you feel like could be beneficial for someone else that we didn't talk about in the video, drop yeah. it in the comments, just let us know. AI is so vast and so broad that it's it's hard to kind of encompass it in one video. But if you do wanna see more AI content in the future, please let us know, whether it's you know image generation, video generation, the copyright issues, and even something like maybe the, the moral line of content creation with our artificial intelligence. There's so many topics that we can talk about and it is very fascinating. It's very interesting. I think it's, it's great that we talk about it just because it's happening more and more in our daily lives. So let us know what you think and drop it in the comments. Yeah, and I think how broad AI is right now, especially just even the tools that we mentioned, GPT and Gemini, Right. even those use cases are broad. You can use them for something simple like planning a grocery trip Right. to venting about some deep problems that you have in your life and hopefully at least getting some good guidance, especially if professional guidance is not something that's in your wheelhouse right, right. now. Right, right. So like David said, if you use AI tools for any other types of reasons that you feel would be beneficial to a lot of people, mm -hmm. let us know in the comments. And of course, like I said at the beginning of the video, we do have like three phone reviews in the pipe right now. Yep. Lots of other stuff coming, but we thought this one would be a nice little change of pace and hopefully something that can improve a lot of people's lives. Agreed. So if you feel like this can improve someone's life in your life, maybe share it with them. Like. Yeah, maybe subscribe if you're new. We're almost to 40,000 subs. Only because of you? Yeah, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourself. Till the next uh, one. We'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>